What is the best bait for carp fishing? This is a very debatable question, but for me, a good fishing bait needs to be cheap, easy to use, and very versatile. Bread ticks all these boxes, and you can find it at any food store for as little as 50p a loaf. You can use it straight out the bag, or liquidize it into a fine crumb and use it as ground bait. Most importantly though, carp absolutely love it. In fact, we've caught some of our biggest fish using bread. Here's a 30 pound common, which was Carl's best capture using just a tiny bit of bread squeezed around the hook. It's important to know that there are loads of different types of bread to choose from. Some white, some brown, some seeded. But over the years, we've come to realize that the best loaf of bread to choose is a thick sliced white loaf. Other types of bread we've used in the past just tend to be more crumbly and end up falling apart and they don't go on the hook very well. All you need if you want to go surface fishing for carp with bread is a hook tied onto your main line and a couple of slices of bread. Our choice of hook is a wide gate variety like this. A six is our preferred size. Our main line is a dedicated surface fishing line of around 12 pound breaking strain. You may want to use slightly lighter line if you're not fishing around snags or targeting smaller fish. We use a blood knot to tie the hook onto our main line. Thread your line through the eye of the hook. Fold the line back on itself before wrapping around seven times. Thread the line back through the loop you created next to the hook and moisten, then pull tight. Trim the tag end and you now have a hook attached to your main line. Take a slice of your white bread and tear off a chunk of the crust. It's now a simple case of side hooking the bread until the hook point is just about showing. If the hook is too far buried inside the bread, you risk not hooking the fish when it takes your bait. You'll notice that there's no weight actually attached to your line, which makes this tactic ideal for fishing on smaller pools or in the margins of larger lakes. The lack of weight makes it difficult to cast more than about 10 meters. In addition to a small piece of crust on your hook, you can also loose feed some bread as well to attract the carp into your area. Take a slice of bread, break it into a few small pieces, and you can just throw this out around where you're fishing. This is a very exciting way of fishing, but remember to stay quiet as carp can easily be spooked if they detect your presence. When you see a carp take your hook bait, Wait until the bread has completely disappeared before striking. A quick, firm lift of the rod is all that's needed to set the hook. Your aim is to take up all the slack line. Once you've done this, it's likely you're gonna be hooked on carp fishing forever because it's such an exciting way to catch them. Before we move on, it's worth mentioning that you can take a bit of the inner softer part of the slice of bread. You can squeeze this around your hook a little bit tighter and form a slow sinking hook bait. Again, make sure that the hook point is showing to increase your chances of hooking up with the fish when you strike. A slow sinking hook bait like this is ideal for casting on patches of bubbles or casting to fish which are sat a little bit deeper in the water rather than right on the surface. If your bread sinks out of sight, you might be wondering, well, how do you know when a fish takes your bait? Well, this is where you've got to watch the line. If you carefully look at the line where it enters the water, you can keep your eye on that and wait for it to twitch or pull away. When the line does pull away, you can use the same process as before, set the hook, take the slack out of the line, and hopefully you'll be hooked into one. One time when bread really comes into its own is when fishing on park lakes or places where people go and feed the ducks. When people throw bread in for the ducks, not all of it gets eaten by them, some of it sinks to the bottom and the carp obviously come in and know about this free food source. A great way to fish these sorts of places is to use a traditional carp rig and hook on a small PVA bag of breadcrumb to attract fish to your rig. A few slices of bread can be torn up and placed in a food processor to create a fine breadcrumb. This can either be pressed into a feeder or used inside a PVA bag. Bear in mind that liquidized bread can still float if you squeeze it into a ball, so you can add some liquid to it to wetten it down and help it sink better. To use a method feeder with breadcrumb, simply take a handful of crumb and compact it into the feeder. 
If you press it on with the right amount of pressure, the crumb will stay intact until the feeder reaches the lake bed. Upon reaching the bottom, it will break down and send attractive breadcrumbs up and down the water column. Another option is to use a PVA bag of breadcrumbs and hooking this onto the rig. This is a good option when casting longer distances. Remember that water dissolves PVA, so if you need to add extra liquid to help it sink, use a PVA friendly liquid like this. To make a PVA bag of breadcrumb, you'll need a tube of fine mesh PVA and a pair of scissors. Take your chosen amount of crumb and tip it into the tube. Use the compressor tool to squeeze the breadcrumb down, but don't squeeze it too tightly, otherwise air will be trapped inside and the bag will float. Next, push the bread out of the tube and tie an overhand knot in the PVA. Tie another overhand knot next to the first and cut in between them. You now have a tight PVA bag that can be hooked onto your chosen rig. When using a rig like this, our preferred hook bait is a small white pop-up. This is because it kind of imitates a piece of bread. You could use a real piece of bread hooked on or squeeze a small piece of the white soft stuff around the hook. The only problem with this and the reason why we probably wouldn't recommend it is because it very quick, quickly absorbs water and will fall apart and you're reeling very soon after without a hook bait on. The method feeder and PVA tactic can work quite well, but if you just want to take some breadcrumb and chuck some around your float or feeder or even around your cart rig, you can do this too. Simply take a handful of breadcrumb, squeeze it into a ball, and depending on how big the ball is, you can throw it quite far. Take some breadcrumb, squeeze it into small balls, and you can throw this in to attract fish into your area. So is bread the best bait for carp fishing? Well, that's up to you to decide, but it's certainly one of my favorites. You can use it on the surface, you can use it slow sinking, also liquidize it into breadcrumb and use it on the bottom. If you're interested in learning more about cheap but effective carp fishing baits, then click here for a full video on how to catch carp with corn.